Today I'm looking at uh, Julie Green Ministries. I'm on her YouTube channel. Look, she joined, looks like April 8th, 2020. In just over a year, she's amassed 48.5 thousand subscribers. Do you wonder why that is? Well, it's because she tickles the ears. She tickles itching ears. She is a prophetess wannabe. And today I'm going to show you that she's utterly false. And surprise, surprise, another female prophetess who is uh, trying to, or in the midst of hijacking the gospel of Jesus Christ in order to promote herself as some great one. All right, so the video I'm going to be playing a clip from today, here we go. Prophetic word, Trump's return and a great awakening in this nation. Yes, another false prophetess who is an outright, uh, I should say, obsessed with Donald Trump being restored to power. Now, it's one thing to desire that. It's a whole other thing when you come out and say things like, God told me to tell you that this is going to happen. Today, we're going to be reviewing what she said about Benjamin Netanyahu. You know, you can always measure the delusion of the people by the thumbs up ratio to the thumbs down. It is overwhelmingly in favor of what this false prophet has said. Do, doesn't anybody ever get tired of the absolute plethora of false prophetesses? These are females that are coming up and blasting into YouTube land and shipwrecking the faith of thousands, some even millions. And there is zero fear of the living God before them. They're not held accountable, and they just keep going on and on and on, and then getting paid for falsely prophesying. What an absolute scam. But this won't go on forever. But I digress. Let's take a listen to what this uh, psychic thinks she's saying. And again, she's saying it in the name of Jesus Christ, which is, again, fearful. Watch a miracle about to happen in the land of Israel against its enemies, for the Lord of hosts is in control. And nothing or any of, its, of her enemies and anything of her enemies tries, it will not win. And the coup against the one I have chosen for that land, which is Benjamin Netanyahu, will not be removed. The plans will be exposed, and I will bring him and Trump together. And this nation to a greater way your enemies cannot stand against. All right, so let's recap. She just told you 48,000 subscribers, almost 20,000 viewed this video. She just told you that God told her that Benjamin Netanyahu will not be removed from power. Is this true? Well, here's a Reuters article for those of you who have been under a rock from June 13, 2021. Netanyahu out, Bennett is, I'm sorry, Bennett in as Israel marks end of an era. Here's the New York Times from June 21st, 2021. Israel's parliament approves new government, ousting Netanyahu. Oops. Bennett is in and Netanyahu is out, all by a single vote margin. Israel ousts Netanyahu and approves Naftali Bennett as prime minister. And again, I say very sarcastically, oops. So according to scripture, uh, specifically Deuteronomy chapter 18, verses 20 through 22, this woman is unequivocally a false prophetess. This isn't an opinion matter. The time has come and gone. She told you one thing and another thing happened. This makes her false. The question now that you know is, will you, according to scripture, reject this false prophetess. And only you can answer that. As for me and my family, we will serve the Lord and we will reject this person and warn anybody that will listen to do the same because we serve a perfect God 
who never misses prophecy and has never missed prophecy. For those of you that love Jesus Christ in truth and sober-mindedness, stay that way. Keep serving him in truth. Do not veer off the path and serve these prophetesses, these false prophetesses, who serve only their belly. And they spend money on things like, well, I'll let you decide what I'm saying. Let me rephrase that, though. They spend your money on things like that.